we love HDSLR cameras because they're so small and lightweight, but uh, we add a follow focus, we add a map box, we add front rods, we add eyepiece cups, we add uh, con mo small monitors or converters to use a video, different video standard, different things. Just pile a lot of stuff in there, and then there's a bunch of prime lenses, put on maybe some zooms. We want to be able to carry all this stuff. We've made nice rigs to be able to shoot with it, but then we got to get it to and from set, and we want to be able to pull the camera out and ready to roll, have it all built. Well, we worked with Porter Brace, came up with a nice kit. We actually had to develop some products with them, and uh, they have their own kits for HDSLR, but uh, we came up with this particular one because we just really think it covers all the bases. Now, the first thing is that if you look at it, it looks like just a big old box of stuff, everything thrown in there, but it's a lot more than that. Nothing moves. And take a look at this camera. It is completely built, rigged out, ready to roll. Map box, follow focus, front rods, uh, the Zakudo eye cup that everyone loves. Ready to roll, got the lens on, right? Ready to shoot, it's all built. And this particular one is set up with uh, this one prime, but you could do that with, um, with a different, with a zoom or some other uh, lens on here. Of course, that changes the size every time you go. So, well, how do you adjust for this in the case? Aha, this is where we came up with something called the lens cup. And this is, well, it's a pouch that holds the lens. Here's a Canon uh, 85 millimeter regular prime lens, actually a pretty fat one, so it fits in here quite nicely. It's got a window on the top. It's got a strap on the back. Put it on your belt or a little flap, different, different color flaps so you know which one it is. What's important, it's got Velcro on the bottom, nice heavy duty Velcro, and it holds this in place in the case. Why is that important? Well, you don't need separate dividers then. You can actually take your camera, built, put it in the case, take the lens cups and just sort of wedge them around it, and then they become the padding for the camera kit. So you can configure this however you want, reconfigure all the stuff inside the case, set it up however you need to go, and change it as you go. And it's always going to work the way you want to work. And that's always important. You make the equipment work the way you want to work, not you have to work around the equipment. Just Velcro's in place, and then it's not going to move. There's other ways you can do this if, let's say, you don't have that many lenses or you want to configure this a different way. Let's say you're using some zooms. Here's a Canon zoom that actually comes in its own pouch because it's, it's a nice, expensive zoom. They provide a nice uh, pouch for it. This one's too big to fit in the case standing up. You'd lie it down well. You want to you can use some lens cups to hold it in place. Or you have, and all this stuff comes in the kit. This is all, nothing additional here. Uh, not the camera, of course, but all the pouches and such. You have some regular dividers. These are the three of their hard dividers that you can line up in there. And then you have what they call a snake divider. This is a Porter Brace product that just has Velcro on the edges and it's sort of a semi-rigid material that will just wrap around inside the case and you just form it around your equipment however you need to go and, and then take these, stick them together and just form your case however you need to and you keep changing it if you need to. Then you have this foam block has Velcro and this strap. The idea behind this is, let's say you're using the camera without a uh, front rod assembly. You just you have a lens on there. Well, you don't want that lens sort of bouncing up and down on the camera because it's not level surface. So you have the camera, and then the lens rests on here on this block of foam, and the strap holds it down in place, and it keeps everything nice and snug together and sort of bottomed out on the case so it's nice and uh, stable. You also have this pillow. And uh, sort of just shape it any which way you want. And then it's going to go on top of your, your camera or whatever else you want inside the case. Just shape it however you want. And that will, it, you know, this is a little bit shorter than the height of the case. So put that there and then you put the lid down. It sort of just holds everything in place and protects it. Gives a little extra cushioning. There is this pouch. And they have bigger pouches as well. The, the other things available. But this is included in the kit. Six inch by six inch pouch. Inside it, we have a uh, HDMI to HDSDI converter box. These are extremely popular. You can get a little bit bigger one if you want an additional, and you could then put a small onboard monitor in there if you want it. But this is in the case. This case is big enough to hold a French flag for the map box. You've got pockets here for uh, your batteries and your chargers and your CF cards and whatever little 
other widgets you might need, maybe some documentation. It's a big pouch on the side of the case that'll hold uh, cables and maybe audio stuff if you needed, whatever you might want. There's the, uh, this is the large lens pouch, uh, lens cup, and there's all, and you saw the small one. There are three large ones, three small. Of course, you can always buy additional ones if you want. It's pretty inexpensive stuff. And uh, the whole case, pick it up this way. There's, of course, the classic strap with nice suede padded, suede covering. Very comfortable to run around with. This whole case is compact enough you can run around with, but then you can also take this case and put it into a variety of hard cases, such as a Storm 2720, which is a hard case that you can ship, but also is a nice rolling case. It has an extending handle and uh, wheels, so you can just roll around wherever you need to go. Complete kit that you can constantly transform any which way you need it to work. You can have a set of primes, you can have zooms, you could have a mix and match. Whatever it is, you're going to pretty much be able to put it in this case, configure it the way you want, be able to run and gun and shoot, and it's all safe and protected, ready to work. That's from Portabrace. I call it the ultimate HDSLR kit from Portabrace and Able Cinetech.